Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. We are back in action today with another empties video with tons of hair care, skin care, makeup, and body care products that I have used up recently. So let's jump right into it. All right, let's kick this video off with skincare empties. My first skin empty is my apostrophe bottle and I'm super excited because this portion of the video is in partnership with apostrophe. So let's roll tape on that footage. Apostrophe is an online platform that connects you to an expert dermatologist team and provides access to prescription medications. To get started, all you do is complete a virtual consultation through apostrophe. Let's apply this while I'm talking, shall we? Your initial treatment plan is then crafted by a board-certified dermatologist, and that could include oral and or topical medications. One of the questions that I am asked the most whenever I talk about products that I use for acne and anti-aging is how I get access to tretinoin and topical spironolactone all in one product and the answer is apostrophe. Apostrophe has been my go-to since this summer and I'm loving it just as much now as I was then because it really does tackle all of my skin concerns like breakouts, fine lines, texture, hyperpigmentation, etc all in one bottle. So if you would like to start your skincare journey and test out apostrophe, I have a promo code in my description box below. If you click on the link listed there and apply that promo code at checkout, that will get you your initial consultation for $5 plus an additional $5 off your first order. All right. Thank you again to apostrophe for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And let's jump into the rest of the video. Next up, we have the G9 skin white in milk sun sunscreen. This is an SPF. 50 sunscreen with a PA rating of plus 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 and it has a mixture of filters including octanoxate, zinc oxide, and uvinyl A+. Tons of ingredients worth highlighting in this sunscreen including things like niacinamide, adenosine, green tea, licorice root, panthenol, evening primrose oil, sunflower seed oil, and even more. The only thing to note with this one is that it's not fragrance free. It does have fragrance towards the middle of the label and some fragrant plant extracts like rose and eucalyptus. But of course, this doesn't irritate my skin at all or it wouldn't be a sunscreen that I recommend to you guys. And I have recommended it before because I included it in my top 10 favorite Asian sunscreens video. So if you would like to see the texture of this product, how it applies, the finish, and how it compares to my nine other favorites, then I will list that video below, but I really enjoy it. And I feel like this is a really nice one for colder weather months for me, because while it's definitely still lightweight, it is a little bit creamier than some of my other super, super lightweight options, a little bit more moisturizing, has a nice glowy finish. It's one that I really enjoy reaching for. Another Asian sunscreen that I finished up is the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This is also an SPF 50 with a PA rating of plus, 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 plus. This also has a a ton of ingredients worth highlighting, including things like hyaluronic acid, niacinamides, Intella Asiatica, ceramides, and more. And this one is fragrance and essential oil free. So if that is a concern to you, then you don't have to worry about that with this sunscreen. And I also included this in my top 10 favorite Asian sunscreens video. So if you'd like to see it compared to that G9 sunscreen, you can see that there, but I would say for just quick summary, it's definitely lighter weight and a little bit runnier than G9, but it's something that I would say has an even glowier finish than G9. So just really depends on what you're looking for in a sunscreen, but one that I really, really enjoy whenever I wanna amp up the glow of my skin. Next up, we have the Dermatology Soothe and Recovery Cream. This is supposed to soothe, calm, and repair irritated skin, and it has tons of great ingredients to help to do those things like cactus extract, biosaccharide gum one, which is considered to be a smart sugar. According to the manufacturer, smart Smart stands for soothing, moisturizing, anti-aging, restructuring, and touch properties. Plus, this has things like bisabolol, olantuin, panthenol, and ceramides. So some of my all-time favorite conditioning, reparative, and soothing ingredients. And this has such a beautiful texture, which I feel like I say about every single dermatology product ever. It's something that is definitely moisturizing and soft, but really lightweight as well. So if you're looking for a product to help to calm and soothe the skin that isn't really 
thick and occlusive and heavy like a lot of other barrier creams, then this is definitely one worth checking out. I absolutely love applying it. And as always, I have a 20% off discount link with Dermatology listed in the description boxes of all of my videos. So if you'd like to save some money on this or their other products, why did my brain just short circuit? Well, I know why. It's because I have a brand new puppy sitting next to me on the floor and she's asleep right now in her bed. So I'm trying to get through this quickly before she wakes up. But anyway, 20% off Dermatology in my description box. Love this product. Love Dermatology. Next up is the Versed Zero G Smoothing Eye Cream, which has some really nice conditioning and hydrating ingredients like shea butter, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and some plant extracts. And this is really nice because number one, it's something you can pick up from the drugstore, but number two, it gives you a really, really nice illuminating radiant finish without being greasy or heavy. So I would say the texture of this product is like a lightweight cream and it actually has pigments in it that will help to illuminate and brighten the under eyes. So it's perfect for daytime or nighttime, but daytime is really nice if you have some dark circles, you're trying to just boost up a little bit without the use of a concealer or any other makeup product. Another eye cream that actually is supposed to do similar things is the Inky List Brighten Eye Eye Cream, which claims to offer instant illumination and long-term brightening. So it also has pigments in it to help to illuminate and radiate the under eye area radiate the under eye area. I don't know if that's the way you would say that, but it also has some ingredients that were manufactured and trademarked for brightening the skin like Brightenol and Grant XT. And it has no for seed butter, which is a nice conditioning ingredient. So I used to be obsessed with this eye cream mainly because of the metal tip applicator, which looks disgusting right now. I just absolutely love applying eye cream that has a metal tip applicator like this, especially in the morning because it just feels so cooling and soothing. It's just one of those sensory things that I absolutely love and the product itself is really nice it's lightweight and again gives you that little beam under the eyes without looking greasy but the last time that I looked into this product the images showed that it no longer had that metal tip applicator so I was like dang that sucks not going to be one I really recommend anymore then because that for me is like the main thing I love about it because there are other eye creams like this one that also have brightening pigments but then when I went and checked their website yesterday they had photos of it with the metal applicator again so I don't know if they brought that back I'm a little confused I wish I could give you guys more information but I would say if it has a metal tip applicator and you enjoy that sort of thing you will really like this. Did my eyes just cross? Let's move on to hair care. First is the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream, and this was actually something that a lot of you had been recommending in my comments, and it caught my eye, because I was like, I keep seeing this as a recommendation. It must be really good if so many of you love it, so I wanted to pick it up. This says that it's for the removal of product buildup, excess oil, and pollution particles in one use. So it's a little clarifying shampoo, and you know I love to test those out. The main ingredient in this shampoo that make it stand out amongst other clarifying shampoos is citric acid, which is an AHA, and salicylic acid, which is a BHA. So that combination of exfoliating acids is really going to help to gently exfoliate the scalp, remove dead skin cells, build up oils, etc. And this shampoo does an absolutely amazing job of doing all of those things for me. It gives me such a great cleanse. I would say as far as the texture of the product, there's really nothing noteworthy to call out about it, but it does suds up well if that's something that you like to look for just for like the experience of shampooing. And whenever I used this, my hair just felt so nice and clean, but never felt stripped or dry or brittle or any of those gross things that you don't want to happen after using a clarifying shampoo. So I know there are a lot of clarifying shampoos that I've recommended, and I don't think that you can go wrong between the ones that I have said I love the most. So things like the K18 shampoo, Way Detox, this one now, they're all amazing. And at that point, I think it's just really up to the price point you want to spend and your preference as far as texture and use, because I think we all have different preferences there, but they are all good. So no matter which of those clarifying shampoos you're going for, you won't be disappointed. I finally emptied the Oribe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. I say finally because I was not reaching for this as much as I wanted to because I wanted to savor every last drop. It's just such a nice mask and it's definitely one of those that I use whenever I feel like really pampering myself because Oribe is expensive, but it has amazing ingredients for damaged hair and it also smells incredible. So a lot of different strengthening ingredients like quartz, amodimethicone, different forms 
forms of proteins, amino acids, and tons of nice conditioning ingredients and oils. Shea butter, olive oil, a Danzania digitata seed oil, argan oil, moringa oil, watermelon seed oil, and a lot of different plant extracts. The smell, I can't get over it. And the thing that I think really stands out about Oribe products is that not only do they have really nice ingredients and smell freaking incredible, they also feel so, so beautiful and really elevated. So I would say that this feels like a lightweight mask, a thicker conditioner. It's definitely not super, super thick and heavy. So if you don't like masks like that, you'll really enjoy this. It's kind of just like an in-between, but it just feels so, so silky. And they're definitely, there's a difference in conditioners and masks in texture. I wish that weren't the case, but for certain products I've tried from the drugstore, there definitely are those that just don't have that elevated, really silky soft feel. And this is not one of those masks. This feels so good. Divine, it's an experience. I also finished up the Oribe Hair Alchemy Resilience Conditioner and I really enjoyed it. I will say it pretty much has a lot of the same exact ingredients as Oribe Gold Lust. Really the biggest difference I noticed is that this also has coconut oil, but for all of the strengthening ingredients and the nice oils and things that I called out, there's a lot of overlap. So I don't know that there's necessarily one that's clearly better than the other. Kind of does the same thing. But nonetheless, this is a really nice conditioner and just a little bit lighter weight than that Gold Lust mask, but again, has that same delicious texture and smell. And I actually love this yellow packaging. I love when they do this. This one and their light blue detangling shampoo. My faves. I finished up the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment. That name is a mouthful, which is really not saying that much because this bottle is tiny. So that is really my only complaint about this product is that I go through it really quickly. I wish it was like five times the size because this is so good and dirt cheap. I did post an entire review on this product because it was supposed to be a dupe for Olaplex. So whenever I see things like that, I have to go like full investigation mode, dig into the ingredients, do a whole test and review. And I will list that video below if you haven't seen that yet. And again, wanna see this in action, the texture, texture, no, texture. And here all about the ingredients and my thoughts on how it compares to Olaplex. But to quickly summarize, I would say the standout ingredients in this include amodimethicone, citric acid, quats, and plant proteins. And this makes my hair feel so, so good. Silky soft. It detangles so easily like butter when I use this. I love it. I don't understand how this is like seven or eight dollars. It makes no sense, but I'm not going to complain. Finished up a jumbo size version of the Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. I don't really need to say anything about this product because you guys have seen it five million times at this point. It's just my favorite leave-in conditioning spray of all time. It does something to my hair that really no other spray does. So I already rebought it. I feel like I'm actually almost out of the other jumbo one I just bought. What can I say? Let's move on to body care. First up, we have the Hemp's Bare Body Orange Nectar and Cashmere Herbal Body Moisturizer. I talked about this, I think, in a haul that I posted back in October when I did a Target and Ulta haul, and I was raving about these limited edition moisturizers because they are so, so cute and just in really nice aesthetic colors. And this one I loved. It's the one I finished first because I think it's my favorite fragrance of them all. Oh my gosh, just so bright and yummy, delicious. The lotion's amazing. I love hemp's lotions. They're definitely one of my all-time favorite body lotions because they're just perfect. They feel super moisturizing. They're not sticky. They dry fast. They really do everything I want a body lotion to do. The only issue that I had with this is that because of this funky shape, I really couldn't squeeze product out of the bottle easily. So I would have to screw off the lid do one of those things to get the lotion out, which is definitely annoying for the price point, but I don't know, because I love these lotions so much and because they smell good and look cute, I felt like I didn't care as much where I normally would. So just wanted to make sure I mentioned that in case any of you were interested in buying. Hit pan on the Tree Hut Velvet Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub. I need to just smell whatever's left in here because I love the smell of coffee beans. And that's exactly what this smells like with like a little bit of sweetness. 
Oh my God, so, so good. Tree Hut makes some incredible body scrubs. They're affordable, they smell delicious. You can't go wrong. Another body lotion that I used up is the Nivea Cocoa Butter Lotion. And I really liked this one. It feels super nice. It's moisturizing enough, but it is definitely a little bit lighter weight. So I feel like I like things like this for the summertime or warmer weather months. And I definitely reach for things that are a little bit thicker and kind of like body buttery in the winter. So while it's moisturizing enough for me all day long, it's not one that I'll probably repurchase for a while because I'm definitely into those thick body creams right now, but it was good. It doesn't have like a super noteworthy smell. It's just like slightly cocoa buttery maybe. No complaints though. Good, subtle, good lotion. Last for body care is a self tanner. It is the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Bali Bronzing Foam, which I really, really like. I have this one in the shade dark. I have used ultra dark, but it's ultra dark. So buyer beware. It's not for the faint of heart. If you have super fair skin like me, maybe start off with dark. And then if you want it even darker, then you could go there. But this is a really great self tanner. I did include it in my last self tan showdown series. So that would have been part three. So if you would like to see how this looks compared to others, then I will list that in the description box below. Cause at this point I've reviewed so many self tanners, but this is a really nice one. I like the color in terms of depth and undertone. It lasts really long. And this is one that I would say definitely has a less noticeable smell on me than others. So if that is your main concern, look into Coco and Eve. All right, we're on to the last category. Let's wrap up with makeup. First is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder, which was one of the best setting powders of its time for a long time. And honestly, it still is a great setting powder. But wait, did Cover FX go out of business? Um, I cannot tell from looking on Google. They still have a website. Anyway, I do still think that this is a great setting powder, but it's one that I feel like is maybe just like a little bit too matte for my liking now, just by a hair. It's definitely not something that makes me look chalky or super dry, but when I have things like my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder that is like just perfect for my skin, and then I try this, I'm like, yeah, it might be just like a tiny bit too matte. But if you have oily skin, it is a really beautiful setting powder. I just won't repurchase if that's even an option because I don't know if they exist. Next is the L'Oreal Infallible Grip Precision Felt Liquid Eyeliner in the shade brown. And this is a really nice eyeliner. I really like the color. It's easy to use. The felt tip is nice and long. So I just feel like it works for the type of wing liner that I like to do. The only issue that I have with this liner and with felt liners in general is that they definitely dry out really quickly. So I have to repurchase more often. So up to you guys on that. If you're looking for a brown eyeliner that looks really nice and is easy to use, then go for it. But just know it runs out fast and not like fast, 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 you know, it won't be dried up in like three weeks, but just compared to other liquid eyeliners that I use, like the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which has a different, I don't even know how to describe that, just like a different type of bristly brush. <laughs> it's not felt tip and that one lasts me a lot longer. So up to you. I am really upset talking about this product. It is the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylus Pencil and Gel. And I told you guys, I think in a favorites video this summer that this was my new go-to brow pencil because the shade is perfect. So this is in the shade, wait a minute. Okay, we're good. I thought I messed something up for a minute, but this is in the shade blonde. And the reason why I love it so much is because it's such a nice match for this warmer hair color that I have. A lot of blonde brow pencils that I've tried just look really ashy and gray toned on me. And this was really the only one that I found that was like the perfect color match for my hair. So I was obsessed. I bought like four on Sephora at once because this also does run out quickly. So that was a bummer, but I was like, I'll deal with it because the color is so perfect and then they discontinued it. I'm so upset. I really hope that they bring it back because as of right now, the only blonde shade that they have on their site is Dirty Blonde, which is different than this. So if anyone from Nude Sticks happens to ever see this video, I highly doubt it. But if you do, please bring it back. Please. Next is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in the shade Tan. Look at how crusty this looks, you guys. <laughs> It's time for her to go. I have had this for so long. Hit pan, it, it's expired. 
it's over expired. But this was my go-to for a long time whenever I have fair skin like this for bronzer actually. So I talked to you guys about this in a beauty hacks video that I absolutely love using setting powders as bronzer. I'll just get them in a deeper shade because I find that they look a little bit more natural and it's a lot easier for me to find the right color match for my skin. And this shade in tan just looked so beautiful. And this powder has really, mm, what would I say about this? It's not like, reflecty or glittery, but it has like little shimmers in it that doesn't look glittery on the skin, but just looks fresh and skin-like so that it doesn't look dry and really flat like a lot of other powders. The only downside to this powder is the shade range. It's definitely too small. So if they expanded the shade range, that would be amazing. But if you are able to find your shade in this powder, whether you're using it as a bronzer or a setting powder, it is really beautiful. Oops, this probably should have gone in skincare, but I have a Vaseline Lip Therapy Coat cocoa butter tub, my all-time favorite lip conditioner, moisturizer, treatment, whatever you want to call it. Obsessed, can't get enough. I actually emptied probably like five or six of these, but I just kept one to show you guys. And last but not least is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in, which one is this? This is in like Red Apple or something. This is very expired and also very crusty. But I used a lot of this because I really, really like the Ulta lip oils. They're just nice and cushy and they have a different kind of feel than other lip oils where it's almost like a little bit jelly-like and really lightweight, they're nice. And they're super affordable, which I love. And they also now have tinted options. So if you want a nice tinted lip oil that's affordable, definitely look into those because they have some really pretty shades. Good. All right, you guys, I can't believe we made it through this entire video with her not making a peep. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Hi, baby. Oh, did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? I'm so obsessed with you. Lights are probably bright for her. Oh, honey. You guys, I love her so much. Thank you so much for watching. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Um, I'm saying my outro all out of order and I have hair on my lip. <sighs> She just loves lying like this. I can't. So, um, hi. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these products and what your thoughts are. Let me know some products that you have emptied recently. Are there things you think I need to try? If you enjoyed the video and if you think that Elsie is super cute, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, click on that notification bell, all of those things. Send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Elsie loves you too. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days. Bye, sweetie. Say bye. Oh.